Hi guys, Aromatic Beast back with another Hurt World video. Today we're going to do the clothing tutorial, which is very, very requested. Now, when you start in Hurt World, you spawn on the beach, naked, apart from your your boxes, and afraid. Uh, so, as you can see, on the left-hand side of the temperature gauge, there is a number, and on the right-hand side, there is also a number. So, on the left-hand side is the temperature that it is right this second. Okay? That's on the left-hand side. Now, on the right-hand side is the temperatures that your body can handle right now with the clothing that you have equipped. So, when you spawn, you are protected to 25 degrees and 10 degrees. So, if you go below 10 degrees, you'll start freezing. If you go above 25 degrees, you'll get heat stroke. Okay? So, left is temperature now. Right is the temperature that you are protected to. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start off in the cold biome and work our way over. And then we'll go to the hot biome and work our way over. And I'll show you what protection you need at minimum. The minimum to survive day and night. Okay, two different temperatures in the day and the night time. I love you guys. Show some support on the video by leaving a like. Please do comment. Please do subscribe if you are new. And let's get right into it. Right, guys and girls, we are protected to 10 degrees, okay? In this biome, which on the map is basically in between the line of the middle biome and the woodland biome, it goes to minus, well, it goes to 5 degrees at night. So what you want to do, a bare minimum, I'll show you what affects what. Okay, so we have the cloth beanie, which is the first beanie you can make. That gives you protection till 7. We're at 5 degrees, we're still too cold. Okay, so you want a basic t-shirt, which gives you to four degrees. So you can actually last with a cloth beanie and a basic t-shirt. Okay, but as you go into the biome more, it will get colder and colder. Okay, so bear this in mind. So to keep yourself warm in the middle biome, you only need a cloth beanie and a basic t-shirt. That is this biome here, the middle biome that is taking up the main part of your screen. Now, in the woodland biome, we need more protection. We go into minus one right now, so we want the warm jeans and we want the boots, which gives us protection of minus three, and we're now absolutely fine. Now, now weather events like rain will affect you and make you even colder. You will not be able to stand in here with that. Also, going up mountains, hills, anything like that will get you colder. As you can see, we went from minus one, we went to minus three, went out minus five. Higher you get, the more colder you get, okay? Minus seven. So bear this in mind. Minus eight. Minus nine. I think we can go to minus ten. I think minus ten is the coldest you can get here. So minus ten is the coldest you can get in the green woodland biome. Minus eight. 10 we are protected to minus three if we want to protect ourselves more we then have to upgrade our gear which we're going to do so let's take ourselves back down because we don't want to freeze to death so as we go down the hill we'll start dropping also this does apply to the hot biome the higher you go the higher the heat is the more hot it is and we're back into the proper temperatures so we could survive in minus four quite easily we're not exactly freezing. Also, the sun is now coming up. So yes, minus three is what you basically need. So we need a cloth beanie, a basic t-shirt, warm jeans, and damaged boots. All can be crafted on the level one workbench. Okay, we're now going to be showing what temperatures we get in the cold, cold area. Okay, so we're okay in this area now. We've done this, we've conquered this area. Let's get warmer. Right guys, we are stuck in the rain, as you can see. Now, the temperature, as I did mention earlier in the video, the temperature weather effects will affect your temperature and how much heat and cold you can resist. So we are currently at minus three protection with the warm jeans, the damaged boots, the basic t-shirt and the cloth beanie. Now with the rain, it takes us down to minus nine. So we're gonna freeze our tits off. So what we wanna do is we just wanna walk outside the biome and we'll be absolutely fine. 
just walk away from the rain and you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, sometimes you need to walk away from an, a, an event, a weather event, and you're absolutely fine. And we're not cold anymore. Our cold bar is disappearing, we're absolutely fine. And you can walk back in. And it should still be raining, I do believe. Yep, still raining. And we're too cold again, so you just simply walk back out. Really, really simple to do. That's also the same for sandstorms. They get you hot. They raise your temperature. And blizzards drop your temperature as well. So rain and blizzards drop your temperature. And the sandstorm increases your temperature. Okay, really, really simple stuff to learn. Let's move on. Right, guys. In the middle of the grassland biome, the coldest you get is minus 10. Let's just run away from you. Let's just run away from you. Now, a thing to note in the cold biomes. Also, is it going to rain? Yes, it is. The thing to note in the cold biomes that if you have food on you, the steak or the oranges, actually, I don't know about the oranges, but the steak will 100% freeze. Okay? Bear that in mind. You will need a campfire with you to unfreeze the steak. Okay? You can't just leave it. It doesn't work like that. Now, thankfully, the sun is coming up, so I kind of got lucky there. So, the coldest temperature in the middle of the grassland biome is minus 10. To combat that, you probably just need a woolly jumper, which you can still make on the level 1 workbench. So, if we just add ourselves a woolly jumper, which is right there, a wool jumper, you can get your two red, your two tri titanium, use your basic t-shirt, and we'll have a woolly jumper. Now, the coldest temperature is minus 10. Let's see what we've got with the woolly jumper. Now, with the wool jumper equipped, we are good for minus 13 degrees. So now we can walk around in this biome as much as we want, day or night. I think the rain would put you to minus 15. So still don't want to be in the rain. But for everything else, all you need is a wool jumper the warm jeans, the damage boots which don't actually give any cold protection at all, and the cloth beanie. So all you really would need with the cloth beanie, the wool jumper, and the warm jeans. Now let's move on to the cold, cold, cold biome. Now in the cold, cold biome, we've only just entered and it's already minus 18. We are completely freezing to death. So what you can do is what I usually do is try and find a raid drill bit, recycle it, get myself some blue clothing. But, that's for later stages. Now what we want to do is we actually want to put down a titanium workbench. If we get down a titanium workbench, we can then craft ourselves some more warmer gear, i.e. the hoodie. So we're going to walk out here. I don't even know if I can place this here. Uh, yep, we're okay. So. Titanium workbench. We're going to look for warmer clothing. Insulated jeans is where you want to start. But to get blue, as I said, just recycle a raid drill bit. Or run into the snow biome and blow up an amber meteor or a blue node. An ultranium node. With a piece of dynamite and then just zip back out. But the easiest way I find to get into the snow biome in the daytime is to make the insulated snood. All you need is to hunt the yetis, the sasquatch, aka the gruffalo, aka the big boy, aka beast when he wakes up in the morning. And you'll get strong pelt and you'll need the titanium. So you do not need any ultranium and that will give you an extra 16 cold protection. You can also get the insulated gloves. For the same thing and that will give you an extra 16 protection so we'll make ourselves the insulated snood and the insulated gloves and we'll see what temperature we can withstand at the moment we have the wall jumper the cloth beanie and the warm jeans and we're protected for minus 13. now with the snood and the gloves let's see how we are now with the snood crafted and the insulated gloves crafted we now go to minus 21. We now can walk into 
the cold biome in the daytime, okay? This is very, very important. We should now be okay in the daytime on the flat surfaces. If we go up into the mountains, we'll get cold. You can also hunt these for snow pelts. You can also hunt the rabbits for snow pelts as well, the arctic pelts, which you will need as well. So as well as the snow yetis, you can also kill the snow rabbits to get yourself arctic pelts. Now, what we will see is what temperature we go up to when we go up into this. As you can see, as we get further into it, we're getting colder and colder. Okay, we're now at minus 19 and we're too cold. But there is a node there, as you can see. We could run and grab that if we had the titanium pickaxe. And then we get back out and then that's our blue for the next item, which will probably be a hoodie. So as you can see, it gets pretty cold up here. We're at minus 20. Now, for full cold protection, okay, what you want to do is you want to upgrade your wall jumper. I would do the wall jumper first because it's actually quite cheap. The warm jeans to make them insulated jeans and the cloth beanie to an Ushanka. Now, as I said, I do believe the hoodie is the cheapest option to go. So you need one blue, so we could run into this cold bone biome quite easily. We can get the one blue with the titanium pickaxe, bandage up a little bit from the radiation, and we're absolutely fine. So we're going to make ourselves a hoodie and we'll see what that will do to us. Now the hoodie has given us minus 22 protection. We're absolutely fine in the daytime. Okay it's very important that you realize this is for daytime usage. Okay we're absolutely fine again. We can now farm to our heart's content. We can kill snow yetis, we can kill snow bunnies, we can also get the nodes and any meteors in fact, there's an old training meteor shower right there. Go to that, it's not radiated. So, we are now protected to minus 22. Let's see what else we can get. This is how to basically get into the cold biome. This is what I do. I'll get myself a hoodie and I'll wear this. The rest of it, I'll wait till I've actually got the stuff. So, we're actually going to upgrade everything to see how warm we can possibly get. So, let's do that. So, from the hoodie, you would go to the snow jacket which is quite expensive, so you need to hunt a lot of yetis and you'd need to hit a lot of ultranium, but the snow jacket does give, we're at all 56 cold protection, the snow jacket gives 75, big big difference. So from minus 22 we go to minus 26, now pair that with a campfire at night and you'll be absolutely fine, you'll be absolutely fine at night time. Okay, so with the snow jacket, the basic beanie, the basic jeans, the basic boots, and the glove and the snood, that's the basic snood as well, you're at minus 26. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to whack on the full protection and I'll show you what temperatures we can expect. Right, with everything that we possibly can make for cold protection, we are now at minus 46. Okay, that is with zero upgrade points. Okay, you can also put cold protection on your gear if you have lesser gear to get yourself into the cold biome, which is what something I often do is as well. So don't forget that you can put gear upgrades onto your clothing to help you. If you haven't got enough materials for one thing, it doesn't mean you can't come into the cold biome, just use the gear protection, okay, which is pretty easy to find. If not, craft the cases. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch my unboxing, my case opening on Hurt World. So we're at minus 46 and we don't seem to be getting much colder than minus 29, as you guys can see. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go and do the hot biome, so I'll see you over there. Right, we are now at the beginning of the desert, okay, the mildly warmer desert and then you've got hot sittings balls area. So let's see what temperatures, we are protected at the moment for 25 and 5 again, we have nothing on us to wear. So as we walk into the desert, straight away we're hit with 26, 39, okay, so let's move away from Tokar. So we're at 39, 41 degrees. What you want to do is put your basic t-shirt on, your Australian hat, your Aussie hat, and your basic shorts, 
and that gives you to 38 degrees. Now that is not enough. Again, what we can do is we can upgrade the basic t-shirt to the singlet. Okay, you can do that on the basic level one workbench. So let's remove the basic t-shirt and put the singlet on. And with the singlet on, we are now okay in the daytime. We're at 45 degrees protection. So we can get in here and farm the red. Okay, so look around, find red, and you'll be a okay. Okay, in the daytime, we're okay. We're kind of walking around. Try not to go up the mountainside because that will obviously get you hotter and also bearing in mind of your food as well so we are currently protected for 45 degrees now half our food bar is gone if we eat a steak we are now protected for 48 degrees again food does impact your protection if I eat another steak we are now to 51 degrees so we can now walk around in this without any food with food bar fully gone, you're fully satisfied, fully hungered out. And now we're protected for 51 degrees with a singlet, which is on the basic workbench, the simple shorts and the Aussie hat. OK, now, as we move into the hotter biome, we're going to have to start putting on the desert gear. OK, so let's move into the hotter biome and see what temperatures we can reach. Right guys, we are just about to enter the hot, hot biome. Bearing in mind we're in the singlet, we're wearing the simple shorts, and we have the Aussie hat. We're protected for 48 degrees. Let's go and see how much weather we can pick up. Okay, I think we're actually in a sandstorm as well, which doesn't help us. Let's see how much the temperature goes to. This is quite important when working out how much protection you're gonna need. So let's just mosey on over. Now the same applies in the heat as it does in the cold. You can add the gloves and the insulated snood and we will be absolutely fine. So the insulated snood is going on, plus the gloves. Again, both can be made in the titanium workbench very, very cheaply. And that puts us to 53. Now that is not enough. So next, what we'd want to do is upgrade the cargo shorts. So from simple shorts to cargo shorts, and from cargo shorts, you then want to go the light combat vest in place of the singlet. As you can see, it's very, very hot. Not much is changing. So my advice, go at night. If you have this gear available, go at night time. Okay, until you get plenty of green and then you can put on the good stuff like so. And we're absolutely fine. We now have a protection of 68 degrees. We will never get hotter than this. Bearing in mind, again, this is no upgrades okay so final form is 78 degrees the heat is harder to live in so what you want to do is go in with cargo shorts the single at uh, the combat vest the aussie hat the snood and the gloves and then go in at night time hit the green stuff get out craft your stuff and then you can go back in this is your final form at 78 degrees protection I hope this has helped you guys. Again, bearing in mind, none of these have any upgrade points. So with this, the singlet, we could have put heat protection. We could have added heat protection and we would have been okay. We could have added heat protection on there. We could have added heat protection on the cargo shorts. Hell, we could even do it on the Aussie hat. You know, so there is things that you can do to rework the system. So what you want to do is go in at night, grab the green, the Mondinium, get out, craft your stuff, and you're absolutely fine. So I hope this tutorial has helped you in every single biome what we need. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the incredible support, and I'll catch you on the next video. Please do leave a like, please comment, please do subscribe if you are new, because it does help me out a bunch. Thank you so much. Love ya. See ya. Bye.